Breaking news from the Westlake District where a minivan went out of control, hitting two people before crashing into a donut shop. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Down. And I'm Andrea Fujii. The accident happened this afternoon at a Winchell's on Beverly Boulevard near Alvarado Street. That's where CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live. Christy. Yeah, Andrea and Peter, as of the last update, LA City Fire said both the victims, both pedestrians, were in grave condition. And take a look here behind me. They were hit with the same force as that wall of the Winchells. And witnesses tell us they saw that van heading towards us on Alvarado, and then it suddenly veered across the lanes and smashed into this building. Witnesses tell us it happened so quickly, there was no time for anyone on the sidewalk to react. Sky 2 flew the scene just before 3.30. Those same witnesses, who also happened to be the friends, friends of the victim, say they heard the screeching on Alvarado near Beverly, then saw their friend flying. A second friend was also hit by the van. But to make matters worse, they say the driver got out and just ran away. A friend of the victim's tells us she wasn't going to let him get away, so she began to chase him, and she actually grabbed him. She says he begged her to let him go, but she says she held on even after the man's wife arrived and tried to take him away. By that time, witnesses tell us police got here and arrested the driver. Meanwhile, other friends were with the victims, trying to help them while they waited for an ambulance. He just laying there, and it was so scary, though. It was, it, no, it was really scary because blood's coming out of his mouth, you know, and then, and then it's like you're in shock, but you're like losing it. Those friends tell us both of the victims are part of a very tight-knit group of transients who look out for each other. They say that's what they were doing here. They were all hanging out there, very upset by what they saw. Those same witnesses also believe that the driver was under the influence of some sort of substance. But police here at the scene have not said whether that's part of their investigation. Let's send it back to you.